Now, your news on the go. All West Genesee High School students and West Hill High School students will be learning remotely today and tomorrow. A yeah, student tested positive for COVID-19 in each of those schools. Additionally, both Ithaca High School and Cayuga Heights Elementary in the Ithaca City School District will be remote for the rest of the week. That's after three high school students tested positive there. Well, here in Onondaga County, COVID-19 cases are climbing. They announced their first death in nearly a month yesterday. More than 60 new cases in just 24 hours in Onondaga County, more than half of them from community spread. The county executive is urging everyone to take advantage of COVID-19 testing. And it's the second time it's happened this week. Overnight, a truck getting stuck under the Onondaga Lake Parkway Bridge. The call first coming in around 1230 in the morning. Police on scene told our crews that nobody was injured. But the southbound lane was closed and just opened about two hours ago. No charges against the driver of that SU trolley bus involved in a tragic accident earlier this month. Police say the driver was heading north on Comstock Avenue on October 13th and had the green light. That's when they say 18-year-old Trevor Daly Pierce on a skateboard was coming down Waverly Ave. He tried to avoid hitting the trolley, but ended up sliding beneath it. And President Trump and Joe Biden will face off in their second and final debate tonight. The 90-minute primetime event comes as more than 36 million people already cast their ballots. The debate will also include a new feature, mics that will be muted to limit interruptions. And Republicans are powering ahead today to confirm Amy Coney Barrett's nomination to the Supreme Court. They want to get it all done by Election Day. Today, the Judiciary Committee is set to vote to recommend President Trump's nominee to the full Senate.